great photograph tells a story, and it's our job as photographers to find that story. But where do we look? How do we look? We actively listen with our eyes. Suppose you invite a coworker out to lunch for burger and fries, but she declines and tells you she's not hungry. If you're actively listening, you're reading between the lines. Did she say no because she doesn't like burgers and fries? Did she say no because she doesn't like you? Or was she telling the truth and she's really not hungry? Active listening with our eyes happens at two levels. At the most fundamental level, it means listening to our physical environment, noting what's actually around us. If you give directions to folks using street signs or landmarks, then you're actively listening with your eyes. But it's more than that. It's noting the geometry of space and paying attention to the quality and the direction of the light. The next level of active listening is a bit more subtle and important to becoming a brilliant photographer. It means getting past the brilliance that's around us and finding the story that really interests you. Finding an interesting story in the seemingly ordinary takes talent. Your ability to recognize and nurture this talent is an important step to becoming a brilliant photographer. Every photograph tells a story. If you're handed a camera now and had to take a picture of this stand over here, where would you find the story? What's of interest to you? The colors. I would be taking a picture of a man trying to sell some hot dogs. I don't know. There is a story. Just a lot of fun, probably. Fabulous Las Vegas is, tells a story of having a lot of fun. Uh, just something, I guess, that goes on in Vegas if you've never been here. The cool drinks and the, in the hot sun in the, on the beach. <laughs> so who's right? You? Them? It doesn't matter. We're all right. Celebrate the fact that you see things other people don't. You're developing your own eye and, more critically, your own voice as a photographer. Our instinct is to take the broadest picture possible to tell a story. Okay, so we've done that. Now let's look at the power of details to tell the story. See the way detail and subtlety make the same point? Photographing detail gives power to what's shown and what's left to the imagination. And at the same time, it leaves a little room for romance. Photographing detail doesn't have to mean a close-up, it just means finding the shot that sparks your imagination from wherever you're standing at that particular moment. I took this picture because for me, it represents what it felt like to sit in a sold-out ballpark. Our challenge is to fill the frame with a subject that interests us. You know, understand the essence of why we're here, and then fill the frame with that essence. But to do that, you have to get past the moment of awe, when we're starstruck by the magnificence of what's before us. If we can just get past the moment of awe, then we can break down what makes this so fascinating. Is it the fountain? Is it the casino? Or is it the people looking at all of it? Sometimes the story is the size of your subject matter. One important but often forgotten rule is Remember to include perspective. This is a photograph of India's famous Ellora Temple, which was carved out of the hillside. Guess how tall the elephants are? What do you think, two feet, three feet? Here's the actual picture. My wife Helen used Photoshop to remove the woman from the first image to help make an important point. It's often a good idea to put something in our pictures that provide perspective. 
One final but important note, stories need context. A subtle shift in angle or inclusion of subject matter can make all the difference between having to explain your photographs and letting your photographs speak for themselves. To recap, finding the story involves active listening, utilizing the power of details, getting past the moment of awe, remembering to include perspective, and showing context. And remember, a tourist walks by an interesting scene and takes a snapshot, but a photographer breaks out the lenses and his imagination and gets to work.